as an actor, I find that costume is where everything comes together. That moment when you look in the mirror and the reflection isn't you anymore, it's the character. In the pursuit of happiness, she took pains to find me the second worst dry cleaner's uniform and the nastiest <laughs> bra known to womankind. <laughs> but her costumes are so damn good, you can watch the movies on mute. Ladies and gents, Miss Sharon Davis. Costume design ties in so close to the characterization in film. Sometimes the clothes actually have to hide. Pursuit of Happiness is a film to put that example to. It was 1980. The director really wanted you to never acknowledge that. But I still used the clothes from that time, but I made it very subtle. Everyone said, oh my god, that must have been so difficult, and it wasn't. They're very different films. Dreamgirls is the opposite, of course, it's a fashion-forward wardrobe film. Pursuit was actually harder than Dreamgirls because of the um, having to constantly take things down. You know, so, and the 80s were, you know, a pretty hysterical time of clothing, so you, I had to really work hard to find, you know, proper clothing to make it work. And I first talk to the director, and I do my illustrations, and then I go to the actor with him, and we all three collaborate on the idea. I love the challenge of making it be a balance of the talent and the direction and the set design. It's, it's a beautiful portrait when it all fits together. If it's not supposed to stick out, it really jars you out of the story and then I feel you haven't done your job. You know, you need to tell the story with everybody else. If something bad's going to happen in the scene, you know, you don't want the audience to know that something's going to happen by the clothes. You have to really go into the real time of the character like you didn't read the script. And sometimes that's really hard to figure, well, what would that choice be? What would you be doing? Because someone's actually going to come in and disrupt your world, really, and that's the next scene. You really can't project the script. You've got to stay into the moment of the scene. Well, sometimes I'm embarrassed. I know people who this is their, just their passion, but I just feel so fortunate. You know, I kind of fell into this career. I really want to thank all the directors and all the actors and actresses who have trusted me with their characters throughout the years. It's an honor to be here, and I really appreciate this award. Thank you. Thank you.